going on guys? Big Black Ghana Man here. We're down at Absolute Gym in uh, Grace today. And I'm posing today with Ross Allen. It's been a nice morning, not too bad. I started posing with him about two to three weeks ago. So my friend uh, Lily Anderson pointed me in that direction. And from all the posing coaches that I've been looking at, he seemed to be the smoothest and on top of that, he looked very comfortable to work with, even though I hadn't met him. Looks a whole lot better than what it was before. But um, what I want to do is I want to clean it up, just little bits. So the first thing that I saw was an issue. It's obviously, let's say like here, that was the front of the stage. That's the center where you need to be. You went off center. So let's say we went into your first pose, you turned around, you went into your back. And when you turned back around, you ended up over here. Okay. So you moved over. Yeah. So I need you to kind of focus on just staying in the same position. Because what's going to happen, you're going to end up bumping into the guy next to you. Okay. You want, you literally want your own space here. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So just don't go into anyone else's space. They won't come into yours. And that's one of the main things to think about. I thought I'd come down and give him a try. And it's been probably one of the best decisions that I've made. My coach has been happy. And everyone I've seen my posing so far has seen a big change very, very fast and I look more comfortable and more relaxed now. With the posing as well, so when you walked on stage, yeah. you walked on too fast. Okay. Take a little bit of time, let everyone see you. Same thing, head up, yeah. um, wave. Yeah. Just so they actually look at you a bit longer. You rush on, they look at you, they look off. Yeah. Take your time, let everyone see what you're doing. Yeah. And yeah, we'll go from there. So how did you think it went, Ross? I would say, I've, I've been posing for like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. First posing session. Yeah, yeah, very very I think that's, that was the biggest thing because your body is on point. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, if you have a good body, you can't showcase it. You're not gonna place. And obviously, that's what that was the problem. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. looking at your pictures, thinking, how's this guy not like got got like first, second, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And after I think the first posing session, I was like, okay, cool, you're onto something. Yeah. But yeah. After seeing you today, and this is obviously by leaving you and letting you just get on and do your own thing. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah. Like, without even the little tweaks I put on, yeah. I'd say top three. Yeah. With the little tweaks that we've got now, yeah. and just seeing how today went. Yeah. If you don't get first, yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's, uh, it's definitely, obviously, this is quite new to me, especially doing things properly, the holding, the breathing out, and everything. I mean, no one's ever been able to teach me the way you have done and i'm not just saying it because we're here like literally from when my coach is happy and everyone around is happy you know it's literally gone well because i've been trying with different people for a very long time so for me this is really good and today actually boosted my confidence quite a lot actually coming here with everything that i've tried and looking and right things have gone well and after you pointed out to me exactly where things have gone well and where things haven't gone well so you see your front pose you're starting to go a little bit into the body movement thing again. Okay. So just relax. That's what yeah. you need to think. You've got all this size here. You're not like these small guys that need to like big up their self. Yeah. Just remember, you're big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. Yeah. Just let the muscles go into place. Right. The biggest thing for you was, I think it was more confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I've always said to you is you have the body there. Like, yeah. If anyone stands on you next to say, like on stage, yeah. they're going to get dwarfed. Yeah, you, yeah. You have the size there, but you kept showing yourself as if you you don't have to be like these small guys yeah. that need to exaggerate their muscles. Yeah. You can just stand there and you have you basically beat everyone. Yeah. It's just yeah. relaxing. Like just all you have to do is take traps. Yeah. Turn around, touch your back. Boom, smile, go home. Yeah. Yeah. Time. That's it. Yeah. 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 And for me it's just you're right. Confidence is definitely one of the biggest things. Like, I'm looking at a lot of people and they look mega ripped or they've been competing for years. So I'm like, oh that's, you know what, they're gonna yeah, you yeah. Realizing you should look in the mirror and be like, fuck. Yeah, that's that, my that potential. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is something that I'm actually, I've actually started to do these last couple of weeks. Been working out with uh, actually your friend Lily, who actually pointed me here. And every time I see her, she's like, wow, like look at you, like you don't understand what you've got and things like that. So straight away, that's boosting me because I'm like, wait, this girl don't know me from nowhere. Like she doesn't owe me nothing. She doesn't generally lie or anything like that. So you know what? She's actually telling the truth. From there, it makes me feel confident and I start to open up and I start to do things properly. So yeah. it's been a really good, it's been a, a tough two weeks, but a really good two weeks, man. So, I mean, the competition's on Sunday now. We're going to be on the stage from probably about 5.30, which is, uh, I'm doing beginners, novice, and then I think at seven o'clock we'll be doing the opens. That's all I so, care Yeah. Them, them other two categories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's if the you, opens. If you, don't, if you don't get top three in open, yeah. 
I don't even know. This is what I mean. It's Black History Month, guys. Remember that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really good. But I thought, you know what? I actually asked Ross some questions because um, he's actually at the level of where I want to be or where I'm actually trying to go. So, um, I mean, how, how did you do it? What made you get into it? And how long did it take you to actually become That's where you are? So, me getting into it, uh, I got into an accident. Yeah. So literally, I was in the gym one day, this is when I was like 19. Yeah. A guy saw me getting changed in changing rooms. He was like, oh, you look good. And I was like, huh? It's kind of gay. Actually, I say that. Yeah. <laughs> you have to cut that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he was like, oh, there's a show in a couple of weeks. Um, if you do, you might win a bit of money. So I was like, okay, cool. Did it, I won. Yeah. And I like the thing, the winning. Yeah. So that first year, 2016, I kept doing show after show after show. And I kept placing like first, and I went for the second month. Moved on to UKBFF. Yeah. That was obviously when it was like the, the way of getting your pro card. Did that, won the British, and then 2018 I tore my pecs for a year out, came back last year, yeah. and I won the pro card. Yeah, yeah. And I had it in my head, I was like, I want my pro card. So yeah. And like, it's mine. So I am, um, you see, I got my, my boat over there. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. So I had that belt made before I even turned pro. Okay, so like, okay, yeah, yeah. So you got, yeah. As soon as I started, prep, yeah. as as I started prep, had the belt made, had it there in my bag. Yeah, yeah. Every show I went to, it was in my bag, like ready, just yeah, waiting yeah. to pick it up. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. First couple of attempts, I didn't get it. I came third in, in Japan. I came second in Spain. Finally, I came first in Portugal. Yeah. And to be honest, I think that was my best prep ever because I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I think when people take it too seriously, I know it sounds weird. When you take it too seriously, your body doesn't. It's under stress. Yeah, you yeah. Just enjoy the process. The same way you've enjoyed past two weeks yeah you can see it yeah it's yeah yeah it's falling into place where before where you're stressing too much you yeah know, you don't work the same way so yeah yeah I think, yeah for me i just i fell into it i enjoyed it yeah and because i enjoyed it i done well yeah the yeah same way that i can i can see you enjoy it yeah yeah you're yeah smiling when you're, well, when you're posing yeah i got, i don't see any reason why you're not yeah well. yeah you know, I see a lot of people and they're like, look, how can you be smiling, you're prepping and stuff like that? And I always say to people, do you know what it is? I'm, I'm happy to be doing this, do you know what I mean? I'm not going to be, I don't have to come in with a sad face. We're sad, you know, we're hungry, you know what I mean? We're like, we want more water, we want more like, do you know what I mean? But for us, we're putting on a show for people. You know, people come to watch us, you know, to, you know what I'm saying, to inspire them and stuff like that. The last thing we want is to be looking sad and then, you know, making this not look nice to people, so... My, my thing is, if you're doing it, you're doing it because you want to do it. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. Like it, yeah. why are you doing it? Yeah, and then you won't get far as well. Because the higher the level you go, the actual harder it becomes. You have to prep more smarter, but prep more harder. Go harder than the next man that you think is going harder than you. So, it's really amazing. And actually, guys, Ross is actually quite young as well. How old are you, Ross? 24, so he's actually done very well in a short space of time. So, I started competing at 19, yeah, and I turned pro when I was 22. Yeah, see, so just what I'm saying. That's it's, it's, it was more just mindset, it was kind of like this is what it was more this is what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do it, yeah, and more than it, it was enjoying it, as yeah, as you enjoy it. Yeah. It's not working anymore. It's true. That's, that's it. It's if, true. If it's not work. Yeah, you love yeah, you look yeah, yeah, yeah. So literally loving what you yeah. do. But yeah, it, this is this is it's good man. So it's nice to actually get an insight of what you've done and how you've done it and how much you enjoy it. You know, I've literally been watching you for the, like the past couple of years, especially because you're in the circle like with Emil and that, so I know when Emil, we're quite close with Emil. And you know, seeing you guys come up together and how hard you was working and you know, running to different countries to compete that actually showed the dedication. So as I've said, like the sort of level that you've gone down is where I'm heading. So it's nice to actually be around you, pick your brains or you point me down the right direction or even just giving me a thumbs up saying, you know what, you're doing well, keep going. Like it means a lot, it's a big thing. That just powers me up times 10. It's really good, man. So we're gonna do uh, tomorrow again, uh, tomorrow afternoon. So we're gonna be in Extreme Nutrition Store. So with Steve and John Picton, so they're going to be looking at the posing and see if there's anything more that we can tweak or anything more that they want different. But apart from that, it's all gone well. Uh, big up my sponsors, uh, 10X, Justin and them guys. We're going to be at Two Bros Lee Valley on Sunday competing men's physique. It starts, I believe, at 5. I'm going to say about 5.30 and it'll be finished by 7.30, 100% or 8 or 9. But 
it'll be finished on Sunday. So obviously Ross has given us a little insight into his world. Make sure you guys follow his channel and um, look at what he does. And he's actually coaching now as well. So guys, make sure you hit him up. I'm telling you, genuinely nice guy who likes and wants to understand people and he genuinely wants to help. So you don't really get that much from coaches these days. On YouTube, Instagram and Facebook, Ross. <laughs> well, I can't help it. <laughs> It's like you won an Oscar or something. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's peak. I can't help it. It's just happening by itself. Yeah. Alright, alright. So yeah guys, catch you next time. <laughs>